Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson, Toyota and Rally. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2018 RAV4. Specifically, how do you tell them apart? I brought along six of my friends today. The LE, XLE, Adventure, SE, Limited, and Platinum. So I'm going to show you how they're the same and how they're all very different. Which one's your favorite? Right in the comment section. Let's take a look. First, let's look at the front ends. All of them are gonna to have Toyota Safety Sense, which means they're gonna have a radar behind the Toyota symbol and a camera in the windshield. The camera is watching for lane departure alert if you go outside of your lane, and also for automatic high beams. It switches between high and low, depending on if there's a car coming or not. And the radar is watching for dynamic radar cruise control, so you can set a safe distance between you and cars in front of you on the highway, and pre-collision system. The car alerts you if you're about to hit somebody in the front, and then if you don't, it will apply the brakes to either slow you down or stop you. Really good safety features. And boom, the Ellie, a sure tip off that it's an Ellie is it's not going to have fog lights. That's the only trim level that does not have fogs. Now, the headlights, those are projector beam, headlights, turn signals, and daytime running lights. Also, the side view mirrors, they're in black. So that's another sign if you're walking along a sea of RAV4s, you'll know it's an LE. XLE has fog lights. Again, that's the first level where they have fog lights and then projector beam headlights, turn signals and daytime running lights. The adventure package has fog lights and then also projector beam headlights, daytime running lights and turn signals. Here's one thing that you're gonna see that's very different about it. It's a sure sign that it's an adventure package if it has the long strip right in the front. So that's pure adventure with the black accent there. You'll also notice along the side it has turn signals in the mirrors, but it also has black accent to match the rest of the car. The SE, that's known for having the wire mesh grille here. That's a trademark of the model. And then you have, this is the first level where you have LED, daytime running lights, headlights, turn signals. The Limited and the Platinum are very similar. They both have parking sonar standard on the fronts and the backs. They have LED headlights, daytime running lights, and also standard on the Platinum, you'll see a camera here that shows you that this has bird's eye perimeter view camera. This is an option package on the Limited, so I didn't really talk about that standard, but that is standard on the Platinum. I always make a point to talk about wheel size and appearance. On the LE model, this is the only one with wheel covers. They're 17 inch wide vent steel wheels with wheel covers, so they do not have alloy wheels. XLE has 17 inch five spoke alloy wheels. The Adventure has very rugged looking 18 inch five spoke black alloy wheels. SE has very unique 18 inch five spoke sport alloy wheels. Limited comes with what Toyota calls 18 inch five spoke super chrome alloy wheels. And the Platinum has the same wheels as the Limited, 18 inch five spoke super chrome alloy wheels. Engine performance, let's look under the hood. First thing you'll notice is soundproofing material here underneath the hood and also in between the engine compartment and where we're sitting so you don't hear a lot of the engine noise in the RAV4. It's relatively quiet. The engine itself is 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It delivers 176 horsepower and 172 foot pounds of torque. It also has six speed automatic transmission so you really don't feel it shift very much at all between zero and your top speed. All of these vehicles are available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. All right, the backs of the cars are gonna be relatively similar. You can see the badging right here, the backup camera that's standard on all the trim levels. The LE has a standard black bottom here. You can see an accent mark in different colors on the other trim levels. However, opening up the back here, I think this is kind of cool how it opens up with plenty of storage room here. It's, the trunk space is, deep, wide, and then if you lower the seats, you can see it really opens up for cargo space so that if, that way if you've got something really long to put in there, it's no problem at all, like a coffee table or a chair or something. Here's the back of the XLE. Adventure, this one has a black accent near the Toyota logo. It also has the RAV4 logo in black and the Adventure's in black too. SE. 
the limited. This is going to be the first level that's standard with the power back hatch. Okay, and then our platinum over here. I'm not going to demo it right now, but this one has standard the foot activated rear ad adjustable hatch. Very cool option. You just kind of swipe your foot and then it'll open or shut. Let's look at the rear seating. There's plenty of leg room, shoulder room, hip room, and head room. Plenty of space here for backseat passengers. There is a rear electrical circular plug in there and then pockets in the back of the seat. And then the seats, the way they recline, turn this this way so I can see. There's a lever here that lowers your seat. And then this also moves the back of the seat at about a 45 degree angle so that people in the back can relax. Plenty of room for three people across, three different seat belts, and also latches for car um, seats for babies. Now for the interior. Ellie is very unique in that it's only available in black interior. So if you want any gray or beige interior, do not pick the Ellie. So anyway, it's in black interior. Three of these trim levels have power seats and three of them have manually operated seats. The Ellie the XLE and the Adventure, they have a pump where you can raise your seat up and down. This is for the back of the seat. And then this bar moves it forward and backward. Now we'll show you XLE. This is with the beige interior. It's a combination two-tone with beige with the dark interior. And it's accented with the beige on the console as well. This is the interior of the Adventure. This one's in gray, so I did this on purpose so I could show you beige interior, black interior, and also gray interior. And as I said, this one has a manually operated seat. This is the SE interior. It's the first trim level that has the soft text, which is synthetic leather. And also you can see it's got accent stitching marks for sportiness. This is the power contraption for the seat. Goes forward and backward, up, and down. This is for the back of the seat. And then this is lumbar support. So the lumbar roller comes out and goes back in. Here's the interior for the Limited. It has two-tone light gray with the darker gray accents. And then it has white accent stitching on the gray. Power driver seat. And then here's the Platinum. This is all black seats. Still has the white accent stitching, power driver seat with lumbar support just like the other two. Now let me show you a closer look of all the interiors, starting with the LE. Power locks and windows, this has auto up and down for the driver's side. Mirror adjustments, brightness of the dash, and this is for lane departure on and off. Now, steering wheel controls. This is up and down for the radio. This is your Bluetooth. This is picking up a call, hanging up a call. This is mode AM, FM, back to the CD player. And then this is voice commands that you can give the car. And then this is your radar cruise control so you can set a diff, uh, safe distance between you and cars in front of you on the highway. Now let me go across the multi-information display here. It's a 4.2 inch. And what it shows you on the eye, it can tell you how you're doing for fuel economy, your trip time, average miles per gallon after refuel, how far till you run out of gasoline, eco indicator so you can see what your driving score is. This tells you if you go outside of your lane too much with lane departure on, it'll actually tell you, hey, I think you're either distracted or sleepy. It might be time for a break. So now let's go over here. This is your lane departure alert so you can set your radar cruise control like I told you about. You can set it to a three setting, which is a wide distance, two, which is a medium distance, and one is a shorter distance. And then lane departure alert will indicate on either side if you're off to the road, uh, side of the road on either the left or the right side. If you have any messages, this could be maintenance due soon or maybe you have low tire pressure. And this is setting so you can set your lane departure, your pre-collision uh, system sensitivity, lane departure. This is with steering assist on. Steering assist actually gives you a little nudge back into your lane if you don't correct your steering yourself back into the lane. Now, over here, that's our Entune audio system. It's a standard audio system. Here's the console. So, console there. And then this is a plug-in for circular and your USB plug-in. 
cup holders, and then this is different driving modes. With the RAV4, you've got three different choices. You've got normal mode, sport mode, if you want to have better handling, tighter handling, feel the road a little bit more, or eco mode, this stands for economy, which is better gas mileage while you're driving in the city. So, if you notice here, this is one difference with the LE. It has single temperature controls, so whatever you pick, it's going to be the same temperature controls for everyone. It's a touch screen radio, so you can set your radio station here. It'll also read text messages to you, like the voice of Siri or Alexa. And then, one of the drawbacks on the RAV4 is it does not have, on any trim level, rear seat ventilation. But, what Toyota does is they put a vent here that shoots back pretty high intensity fan so that you can heat or cool the back seat since it's a smaller cabin you can heat that and cool it very well okay going up here this is lighted mirrors lighted mirrors and then this is a traditional rear view mirror if somebody is blinding you then you can just turn it that way and then this is for sunglasses that's the Ellie XLE option is the first trim level where you have some extra fun options that may be important to you. This one has standard equipment, dual temperature control, so you have driver's temperature and also passenger temperature. So one person can be hot, one person can be cool, and you're both happy. This is a pollen filter, so it actually will weed out pollens and other irritants that make you sneeze and itch, and it does that for a few minutes at a time so that you don't have allergy symptoms as much. This one also has a push button start and some extra options here because it has an upgraded radio system and an extra package. I'm going to tell you about the packages at the end of the video, but several different option packages are available on the XLE and above. It also has standard a sunroof. Adventure trim level has a couple fun options on it. For example, it's got the adventure nameplate as you walk into it. It's also got the rubber all-weather adventure mats that have the logo on it and say RAV4. Ta-da! Those are pretty much the only options on the inside that would be of any note. However, this one does have an upgraded 7-inch screen because it has the upgraded option package that I'll tell you about at the end of the video, which gives you a lot extra. All right, SC model. Remember, this is the first trim level that has Softex seats. Let's hop on in here. Also, you see you've got multi-level heated seats. So low heat, front heat, or no heat for both the driver and the passenger side. And then the steering wheel. This is a leather wrapped steering wheel, or Softex, I should say. And then a sporty shift knob. And then this level here has a self-dimming rearview mirror with a compass and also home link for programming and garage door openers. Okay, let's step into the Limited. This is the trim level that's loaded with extra standard equipment that we haven't seen yet. Again, on the lower levels, it could be an option package. For example, standard blind spot monitors. And then you'll see heated Softex seats. Push button start, that's standard, no option package required. Uh, dual temperature controls. Also standard is a seven inch Entune premium audio with navigation. You can get this on the lower trim levels, but I'm gonna talk about those at the end of the video, like I said. So, here's the navigation, you just highlight it, and then you can either program in a destination or you could do things like voice commands here. What would you like to do? Find nearby Italian restaurants. Showing nearby Italian. Select the one you want. Nice. Cancelled. Then you can also get access to the Entune app suite. So once you download Toyota Entune on your phone, you'll get access to, and your car, different apps like Pandora, iHeartRadio, fuel prices, stock prices, Yelp reviews, that type of a thing. The other thing that's standard on the Limited, which is really cool, is memory seats. So that way if you've got a short person and a tall person, or just people at different settings, you can just push one or two. Now if you're someone who wants to upgrade to the Platinum, let me show you how it's an upgrade from the Limited, so you can see what you're getting for your money. First of all, it has Platinum door sill, Platinum floor mats, Right here is heated steering wheel. 
Then you're gonna get ambient foot lighting. No, that's not my Star Wars socks. That's actually the blue lighting underneath. And then this button right here is for the bird's eye view perimeter scan. Oh crap, that's a bad. So it shows what's around the car when you start it up. I can see that there's a car on the front level right here. And then when I put it in reverse, it can show us two different ones, either straight backup camera or backup with the bird's eye view. So as you're backing up, you can see what you're backing up into and I better stop because the curb is there. And gas mileage, it's pretty much the same between the front wheel drive and the all wheel drive. This is the SE front wheel drive. It's 25 combined, 23 in the city, 29 in the highway. And then we'll look at one of the all wheel drives here. That one's 24 combined, 22 in the city and 28 in the highway. So relatively the same. And now as promised, let me tell you about some packages that are available on the trim levels. XLE has a bunch of them. First of all, there's the plus, the power plus, and then the power premium packages. The plus package has smart key, push button start, blind spot monitor, Intune Audio Plus, which does give you satellite radio, and then the dynamic grid lines on the backup camera. The Power Plus, that adds in the height adjustable power lift gate, and the Power Premium, that's what gives you the GPS navigation built in and the Intune app suite. SE upgrades include advanced tech package that gives you the bird's eye view camera, front and rear parking sonar, and you can upgrade your radio system with JBL speakers. The extra value power package that gives you smart key blind spot, power lift gate, and the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for garage door openers. Limited, you can add in the advanced tech package and also the foot operated power lift gate as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful to pick out your favorite RAV4. Please write in the comment section which trim level is your favorite. And I'll see you next time.